So the New Testament wasn't there when Jesus ascended to heaven and sent his disciples out and said, go and gave them the Great Commission. They taught Jesus from the Old Testament, from the Tanakh. And there are so many places besides Isaiah 53 and Psalm 22. And I'll touch on all those in individual videos. I'm going to give you one silly example right now from Psalm 107. I'm going to touch on a few various verses. In the beginning, you're going to think, mm, maybe he's reaching. And then your eyes are going to start bulging. You're ready. Psalm 107 from verse 1 to 3. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Speaking of the redemptive act of the cross that Jesus would perform. We the redeemed, not just the Jews, but the Gentiles, slave and free, from the north, south, east, and west, he redeemed us all. That speaks to that redemption. Verse 20, no, verse 19. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. This speaks of Jesus, the Word of God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He sent His Word and healed them and delivered them. He is our deliverer. Okay, jump to verse 23 onwards. Those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters, fishermen, they see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep, for he commands and raises the stormy wind, which lifts up the waves of the sea. They mount up to the heavens. They go down again to the depths. These are huge waves in a storm. Their soul, the sailors, melt because of trouble. They're fearful. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man. The boat has been tossed all over the stormy waves. And they are at their wit's end. They don't even have skills to handle the storm. It's too powerful. Then they cry out to the Lord in their trouble. And he brings them out of their distresses. He calms the storm so that its waves are still. Then they are glad because they are quiet. So he guides them to their desired haven. That is Mark 4. The story of the storm and how they woke Jesus in the boat and he spoke and calmed the storm. There it is in the Tanakh. Psalm 107. There are so many instances like this and I will be sharing with, him, with you in the time ahead. God bless Keep looking up. Shalom.